New into stock we have a Nissan Navara 2.5 DCI Solomon. It's the Connect Premium Double Cab Pickup. 2015 on a 65 plate has done 26,997 miles. Fuel economy, urban 24.6, extra urban 38.2 and combined is 31.7. Top speed of 111 miles an hour, 0 to 62 time of 10.7 seconds out of a 188 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. It's on our website at the moment. The finance package deal is deposit £4,798.50. That's made up of £1,599.50 deposit and £3,199 VAT, which you'll be able to claim back out, obviously, if you've that registered your next quarter. That's followed by 60 payments of £310.27. It's a really, really handy vehicle. Um, pickups are becoming more and more popular in the UK. In, in the States, the best-selling vehicle is a pickup, so uh, no doubt we're going that way too. So, the, the chrome features on the front, we've got a big chrome bar underneath there. If you're on a building site or anything, it's, it's not going to smash the, your, your sump in, and it's going to hit that before you do any damage to your vehicle. We've got the top tint windscreen, multi-spoke alloys, big wheel arch extensions. Uh, these wind deflectors have the window down a little bit without getting blown about inside. The, uh, the, the proper side steps, roof bars, really, really well made thing this. And the, the checker plate top for the back, again with bars on, which you can fit a, a box to or, or whatever. Now, in all honesty, I, I think this would benefit from a bit of oil uh, being applied, but uh, give it a bit of a clout there. So that lifts up like so. And the back, these, uh, these really substantial things, you'd be able to sit on that. It's all lined with this hard plastic as well. It's not being used uh, commercially by the look of it it's all nice and clean no scuffs no scratches anywhere so it's it's really nice in the back there and you've also got these things that I'm assuming you can just fasten things to you know, it'll it'll just undo and move along like so stop stuff sliding all over the place Plenty of room in the back. Really nice, not being uh, not being abused at all. We've got the three inertia reel belts, which not all of these pickups have. Also, these back seats fold down. Uh, I'm not quite sure why they do that. The only thing I can see behind here is the the jack. Um, so perforated, what appears to be leather anyway. Big heavy duty uh, mats. Look like they've been in it from new and they're not even scuffed so I don't think it's ever been sat in uh, in the back here certainly not by big hairy workmen it's been really really well looked after just take you for a ride in it two keys and uh, a couple for the uh, for the load cover, proper remotes with proper blades. The car, let's see. Car's done 27,000 miles exactly. It was serviced the 21st of 3rd, 2018, 18,089 miles at Colin Apple Yard, Nissan. Power folding door mirrors. Really nice vehicle. BF Goodrich tyres all round. And uh, when I was a young lad, 
the thing to have at the time was uh, either General Grabber tyres or BF Goodrich. I think BF Goodrich just shaded it slightly. They are all terrain tyres, so there's uh, a, a little bit of road noise. Nice seating position, nice and high up. And um, what's the car got? The shade band over the windscreen here. We've got sat nav. Just put the, uh, I'll show you how to work that later. Just got to click there, make sure that. Uh, tell it you're not going to be distracted. can't decide whether that's tyre noise or uh, we've got a noisy wheel bearing but this this is what the purpose of it, this drive apart from showing customers that we actually we have actually got the vehicle it's just to make sure that we pick up stuff that wouldn't just be picked up on a, a ramp inspection so we will have to uh, make a note of that as I say I can't swear it's not the all-terrain tyres making the noise cars tidy all round Got the roof bars on the top. You see these, uh, just take those down a little bit. These wind deflectors there. So we'll check that one, that one works. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a wheel bearing that's noisy. So we'll do that. Uh, just check. Wipers and blades are all okay. On the right hand side here, we've got the electric windows. Over here, can't actually see it for the steering wheel, but there's probably a switch there somewhere. There we go. Oops. All right there. So there's there's a switch. So knock it over there. That's it. So that one's working always. Knock it over to the left one. That's fine too. We check the doors, we've got heated seats here, um, it's automatic although you can shift across like so and use it as a manual or semi-automatic really, not a manual. They say very very handy vehicles these, I'll, I'll just knock it back into automatic, very handy vehicles. You can keep the cab nice and clean warm cool whatever you want listen to uh, listen to your music without getting drumming from the back if it's a, a van chuck all your tools in the back or you your weekend stuff mountain bikes whatever and it's uh, still a bit of uh, comfort in the front here Bluetooth hands-free telephone. We've also got Bluetooth audio streaming and stream any music from your phone through the speakers. And cup holders here, front central armrest, the locking wheel nuts in there. It 
uh, feels faster than the 0 62 time would suggest as well. Got a multifunction steering wheel, it's uh, height adjustable. see what we're doing 70 miles an hour there Let's cruise set that's 69 we'll just knock it up there you go the other one must have been speed limiter there's two little buttons there left must be speed limiter right cruise once you've switched the cruise on knock this little rocker switch down we're doing 70, it's doing 2,200 revs. He's making the journey around St Anne's, I'm afraid. I'm Must find out how to knock that uh, traffic alert off. Indicators are on the left and also lights in the end. Wipers on the right. Your climate control. All your sat nav and telephone controls here. Radio here. Quite a long way away to turn the radio up and, and down. Um, obviously, left hand drive design. But the uh, rest of the car is very, very nice. Perforated leather with uh, solid leather centre panels. We've got the big roof bars, the sump guard on the front, the checker plate, uh, load cover. On your dash, on the left hand side, you've got coolant temperature then rev counter in the rev counter it tells you what gear you're you're in at the moment and also the uh, drive speedo on the right malometer in the center and your cruise control information and then fuel gauge on the right Also got electric driver's seat. There you go. Well, I'm thinking near side wheel bearing, not tire noise. But uh, if not, I'll have to, if I'm wrong, I'll have to reshoot this video because that would get uh, would get on your nerves. Quite a responsive gearbox as well. Uh, just uh, coming along this nice country road.
much prefer the seating position in these than saloon cars these days. Morgan or something. JBA. for uh, doing the sat nav I'll show you how to program the sat nav pay your mobile delete to mobile and also stream audio through the system to get out of there. Okay, as I'm uh, going to Starbucks now, I'll uh, finish the video here. But it's, it's a very, very nice vehicle. Front central armrest, cup holders, it's automatic, heated seats there, sat nav, Bluetooth, hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming, cover on the back. Um, actually, I'll just stop here because I can't remember. Uh, we've got a reversing camera as well there. So that's handy too.